So we're here at day two of the FRGP in Eskilstuna, Sweden. We have a little bit better weather today. As you can see, it's uh, sunny right now and it's getting warmer and warmer uh, towards the end of the afternoon. Um, yeah, I, I have to do this lap again. My dad put the, the iPad on the wrong setting, so now we have to do this all again. Uh, but yeah, you um, here I'm walking on the, the straight right now in front of the driver's stand. Um, you arrive here into the into this corner over here pretty quick, so you kind of have to be hard on the brakes when you go into this left-hand 90-degree corner. Um, so you can see some of the cars overshooting because, the, yeah, as I said, the straight is pretty long, and yeah, they just brake too late, so they overshoot this corner, and then it gets very loose on the outside here. So you have to be very careful and stay as close to the pipe as you can. Uh, because then when you go up here, uh, it goes a little bit uphill and it's also a uh, small chicane as you can see. It's not completely straight. Uh, but on the driver's stand, I think it looks, I mean, for, from the driver's stand it looks like it's turning more than it does. So you can kind of go, if you hit the, the line on the first one, you can have a straight line up to the top corner over here. So yeah, you can see also that the track is grooming up really nicely. Uh, there is starting to be... A, kind of a blue groove in the line right now. Um, yesterday it was a bit dusty, but yeah, uh, the track is coming in nicely and uh, so far it has been holding up very good. Um, here we come into a triple section where you can't really do the triple and yesterday I did a double single and this morning it started out wet because we had a little bit of an overnight rain here. Uh, so then I couldn't even do the double single. So most of the people opting for the like rolling all the all the jumps here in the first two rounds of qualifying. Um, you have to be careful on the on the pipes here because the pipes are pretty low on the ground, so it's easy to flip the car if you hit the pipe too too fast. Uh, and it's also hard to see from the driver's stand; it's pretty far away to this top corner right here. Um, but most of the people, as I said, rolling these uh, three jumps here today. Uh, I think it's the safest and I don't think you lose that much time if you want to go double single you might be two three tenths but uh, two three tenths faster but you also risk have the risk to, to crash so here you just want to keep uh, the car as close to the inside as possible to avoid this uh, rut here going downhill to this hairpin um, yeah the, the track has been holding up really good as I said um, and it's starting to break up a little bit, but I think it won't be too bad today. Maybe we'll see for the mains tomorrow. Um, but yeah, right now it's very good. And uh, yeah, you come around this hairpin right here. You can see the pipe is also pretty low right there. So the car is, yeah, it's pretty easy to cut the, to cut the corner in on the inside right there. Uh, so the referees have to be uh, aware of that. And then you come up here, you go, uh, you have a uphill with three rollers. Uh, you can't really feel the first two, but you have to short, be short on the second one to kind of jump from the last one uh, because a little bit higher than the first two rollers. Um, so you come in here to a left hander uh, onto the back straight, which is not as long as the front one, uh, but you have to be, <coughs> excuse me. You have to be uh, very uh, careful on your line uh, going into this corner uh, right here because they put, I don't know if they did it on purpose, but there is kind of like uh, three moguls or speed bumps. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, so you have to be careful going into this hairpin. Uh, if you ride too quick, you'll probably end up in the loose or crash it, the car uh, because you ride on the speed bumps too quick. So here is the part of the track which is breaking up a little bit more right now. Uh, you can see it's kind of, kind of uh, rut starting to to appear here. Um, so this last one is pretty hard, so you have to be easy on this, careful on this rut here, uh, because otherwise you'll probably flip your car going into the brake section corner right here, uh, which is a long sweeping corner. Um, what you want to do here is just to arrive pretty slow and keep the car as close to the pipe as possible. I see a lot of cars coming, arriving too quick to this corner, and then they will end up uh, on the outside and they lose the outside. So yeah, you just want to keep your car pretty close to the pipe, I would say. Then you will also have a great line going up to the step-up jump over there. <coughs> this, um, yeah, this part of the track is 
it's basically just full power and you just have to be careful on your line but yeah as long as you're inside the track it should be fine um so over here you have the the step up to uh, elevation change here um it doesn't really matter where you hit the jump it's kind, kind of yeah it's pretty much the same everywhere on the face uh, but you anyway I'm opting for the, the middle just to try to hit the middle because then you have a great line going into the left hand sweeper here on the top. Um, you can see on the outside it's very dusty so you really want to be in the line to, to get the maximum traction out of your car. <laughs> so you come from a step up onto this uh, elevation change right here and then you have a step down which is very nice. Um, Last year when I was here, they didn't have this kick on the top, so you couldn't really jump it down. Uh, but now they put a uh, good kick on, on the top here, so you can you have a really nice uh, standing going into this corner. Um, and it's also pretty quick, tricky, because this section is also pretty far from the driver's stand, so it's hard to see where you're placing the car for this corner. So uh, anyway, you don't want to be too long on this uh, step down. Uh, you want to hit it pretty good, pretty short, to keep the car on the inside here. As I said, you have to uh, have your car in the in the line to get the maximum traction. Uh, then you go in here. Here's a double double section. This one is pretty pretty tricky because the, the face of the first one here is pretty steep. And you have to be kind of short on the first one to be able to make the second double uh, nice. If you overshoot, you will probably donkey flip your car and uh, crash on the second one. And if you're too, sh too short on the first one, then you won't go to get over the, the second one at all. So you have to be—I mean, you have to make it, but it has to be pretty close on the first one to be able to make the second one nicely. Then you come over here. Uh, hey, here you wanna—you really wanna be sure on your line here because this section is pretty tricky, as you can see. There's a lot of jumps here and everything is kind of turning, so it's not straight at all. Uh, so what I I want to do, I want to come arrive a bit wide here, um, maybe on the ice outside of the line here, uh, try to, to hit the, the jump as close to the left side here as possible. Uh, because then I have the most, like the shortest distance to make the triple, and I have the most time from the roller over there to, to uh, aim my car. 15 ride. minutes to start. Yeah, 15 minutes to start. Third run is starting. Uh, so here, here you go over the triple. Uh, and this one you just want to, you really just want to make it uh, and have the car stable to be able to make the second double here. Uh, this one is pretty tricky depending on how you uh, land the triple. Uh, so yeah, this section is probably the, the hardest one at the, on the track right now. Uh, I can, yeah, here is the, probably the place where the most of the cars are crashing. But it's better today for sure than yesterday. Uh, I think everybody found a better setup for the car and also learned to track more. Many drivers are here for the first time, so... So yeah, you can really see the, the driving are better today than yesterday. And this corner right here, uh, it's starting to break up a little bit, uh, but not too bad. Um, you wanna here, you wanna be close to the inside and just kind of jump in the middle of these uh, two doubles right here. <coughs> they are pretty big. Um, they put some astroturf uh, on the jump for this year. Uh, so yes, last year we had uh, more grip on the jump, so it was easier to make them. Uh, this year the astroturf is here, but it's pretty long hair. So your uh, your car really sits down in the grass, so you don't get much grip uh, over these uh, doubles here. So you really have to be nice on the on the first one to be able to make this uh, second double really good. So yeah, you wanna you wanna hit the downside of the first one and just uh, power through and make the second one. Uh, here it doesn't really matter where the, where you land. Uh, I rather land a little bit longer than shorter because they have put like a second carpet here so if you land right in the middle your car will probably double down so I rather want to go a little bit longer on the second one and then just power over the finish line and around the sweeper uh, out to the onto the straight uh, here I really like this section right here you arrive pretty quick and <laughs> you have to have your car 
um, set up good to, to make the sweeper nice and keep the keep the car low and and put the traction to the ground uh, onto the straightaway. Um, here you can really see how long the straightaway is. So you need a lot of horsepower, as I said yesterday. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it of the track here in uh, in Askastuna. I think it's a beautiful track. I really like the layout and. It's um it's fun, it's difficult, uh, challenging for sure. Um, probably one of my favorite tracks in Sweden right now. Um, and I hope that the weekend will be good for me. Uh, it started out good with the GQs in the first two rounds. And, uh, we have three more rounds to go today and uh, then we have the final MCMI tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, so far so good and we'll see what happens.